As you can see, I already started this eye, well, yeah, I started this eye. I'm still not finished because I want to do my under eye. And I did my eyebrows and I um, based my, this, you know, I based my lid and stuff like that. So with my eyelid base, I use the Maybelline Fit Me in the color 20 Sand. And yeah, this is literally 20 Sand. But it's, I, I wanted to do something lighter because I wanted the colors, the green to pop a little bit more and y'all I'm loving it I'm loving it and for under my brow I used uh, Maybelline fit me in the color 30 called cafe so um the two main palettes I'll be using is the sweet enchantus from Burlington co factory you guys it's just um, a bunch of shimmery shades they do pop you know not like you know those expensive palettes but it does the job I'm using this one and I'm also going to be using my elf palette mostly just the screen um this shade for the like shading and i'm also going to be going in with my hard candy candy palette you guys are probably like what is wrong with the, the covers listen it just happens okay it just be happening but you know just this brown and a little bit of this color um this i wanted to go with the green for the holiday look you know i really think this is like holiday and i have like a little cat eye and the lashes i'm wearing are the ardell double wispies this is the full lash but um on my lash line i i kind of cut it a little bit because i have small eyes so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take this color right here and i'm going to use that um as my transition color and what brush am i going to use let me use this one. Oh, you guys to clean up my my brushes I'm using these e.l.f. Um, brush cleanser wipes. And I thought these were going to be wet, but they're like, they're dry, you know? So they're dry. And I just put it on my lap right here and I just take it and I just clean off my brush. And it, you guys, it really like cleans them like really well. But I'm just going to take this, this like, what is this? Like this burnt orange color and I'm going to put that in my crease. palette and I'm gonna go in with this uh dark brown and I'm gonna put that a little bit below than lower than the first color I applied and I'm just gonna gently start shaping out like the uh, halo eye I'm going for I don't wanna oh yeah I'm gonna block you guys from what I'm doing. And I'm gonna wing it. See how I have it like a little winged out? Well, and obviously I have my wing right there. And I have it cleaned up. But I'm gonna um, wing it out just a little bit. And that's gonna help my eyes look bigger than what they are because. As you can see, you guys, I'm black with Chinese eyes. I'm not racist, but I think their eyes are beautiful. But, you know, I have to bring mine out. I'm just going to move up a little bit. I have to bring mine out a little bit more because, you know, they're chinky. I'm going to take my little elf brush, and then I'm going to go in with the black. I'm sorry. I'm going to go in with the black here just to put a little bit more definition into it as you can see right here I did put black in it and then with um, my liner I kind of took a little brush and I kind of try to make it a little smoky yeah so it's like a little smoky but you can still see the defined black line So since I got this all blended, I kind of got it the shape I want it to be. Um, I am gonna put more. I'm gonna add more to it, but I'm gonna cut out the my halo. So I'm gonna go back in with my uh, Maybelline Fit Me in the color Sand, and I'm gonna I'm gonna scoop off a lot of it. I'm not gonna let like put a lot on there. Okay. 
my shape I got <clears throat> I have um and then I'm gonna take I'm trying not to like really look up I'm gonna take like this flat brush this elf brush and kind of pat the concealer to dry it Before I go anymore, I'm gonna take the same brush with the black on it and I'm gonna clean it off a little bit. And I'm gonna go in with that brown I had used earlier a little bit. Dust it off and I'm going to bring it in a little bit more just to blend out any harsh lines. that I'm going to do my um, I'm gonna do my green now I forgot what brush I use for that where is the brush where is it where is it where is this brush y'all I'm losing my mind okay so this green on this palette is very light so it kind of just looks like a, a bright sh uh, gold a little bit but i'm going to use it as my base for the green for the uh, darker green so i'm going to put it on this brush and then i'm going to place it get together i'm going to place it back in the middle of my place it in the middle of my um you know my, uh, and guys it goes on really nice but see it's like it's really pretty but um you know I was going more for this look and not really this look so that's why I kind of and I'm gonna add some a little bit to the edges just so we don't have any creases not creases what am I trying to say not creases you know harsh lines so it blends I'm cleaning that off and then now I'm gonna go in with my elf palette. I don't, I don't know, I keep showing you guys this, but you saw it throughout the video. So, um, I'm gonna go in with this color, and it comes out really, it comes out very well, but I do have to like build it up a little bit, not you know, over the top, but just a tad. So, I'm just gonna add that on top. This is like a little bit too big because see how I said I have to um build it up because it's still kind of light so I do have to um build it up. I'm gonna use another brush. Let me use a smaller brush. Okay. I just, have, I just gradually just, I just gotta keep building it up. I'm finished with blending it and making it all mush together. So the liner I was using. <coughs> The liner I'm using is the Kiss liner, and this is a gel liner. Um, so I'm going to take an angle brush like this, and I'm going to dip it in. And this is how I, I start like the wing part, like my point. I just take it and I just go over it and do like a tattoo stamp. Tattoo stamp. It lightly because you know I'm not all like the best at liner like it takes me some time see and I just do it like that because you know it doesn't really matter how you do your line because you can always clean it up with like um 
with uh, wipes and stuff. So let's take it and I kind of like just pull it out. So we gotta make sure like it's matching. <clears throat> and then I have like this little fine defining um, brush and I just, um, I use this to like draw everything. And I don't want no clumps and stuff because clumps are bad. So then, since I, I basically finished my liner, I kind of made it more defined over here, but I'm gonna, you know, fix that because liner is like one of those, like, you know how you do with your eyebrows, you say, they're not twins, they're sisters, but these are like cousins. Like not the first cousins, not the second cousins, but like maybe the third and fourth cousin. So we're gonna make them look like the first cousins though. But I'm gonna go in with, go in, um, use the black from my e.l.f. palette and just lightly just do some like strokes like this to make it smoky. I just lightly do that on it right here, just to make it smoky and do the same for right here. And I guess you're like, what, girl? But see, it's kind of like smoking out. And then I think I'm gonna take a little, a little brush like this again, and lightly, lightly, like touch it like this. Touch, go all the way to the end, <laughs> lightly, and then lightly, this smoke that out, smoke out the imperfect imperfections. Yes, see. Like a black eraser. This color. Well, this one is already like really smoked out. Take it in this. See, like holiday makeup. I mean, you're gonna be with family, so you'll wanna go and snatch. They're gonna be like, "Where's that boyfriend?" You know, while you're great shopping, honey. Do you see this makeup? I don't need none of that. That's what you wanna look like. So, the makeup wipes I'm using are the Pons. This is the first time I like, used them. And they, they're like, have these little like, rigid, like bumps in them. So, but overall, they're, they're working kind of, they're working good. So you just wanna take your wipe and clean up your line. You know, and I got some uh, fallout there. So I'm gonna clean that up as well. Never know. What is you doing? Okay, guys. So I'm back. I got both my lashes on. <laughs> Alright. I'm sorry. I got both my lashes on. And I love how they look. Like, um... Before I used to have all these problems with putting lashes on and I was not understanding why they was looking a mess. But now I understand that when you want your lashes to look good and to make sense, you have to make them fit your eye shape. So, 
you know, I'm getting better and better with trimming them and understanding, like, you know, if I want them to look natural, I have to make them look natural. Okay, so now on to the holiday face, you know, because you just can't just go with the eyes. You got to have a beat face, too. So, um, first I'm going to do is prime, but where's my primer? Oh. I will be using the Black Radiance True Complex HD Primer. This is Natural Nude. That's what it says. And it's 100% oil free. Um, this is the first time I ever used this primer. Um, my primer is Baby. Um, baby Skin Primer. I love this primer. Ain't no other primer better. But I kind of want to branch out. You know, try some new things. So, oh, so it comes out like this. Um, okay. It looks like concealer, and I don't know how I feel about that. I'm putting like a little bit on. Wipe it off. Um, let me see how this is going to work. Going on, I don't know what's going on. Ugh, my nose hurts. Sorry. Um. So. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about it. It's probably making me look white. It's really soft though. It feels like a moisturizer. It smells like, um, it doesn't really have a smell. It smells like lotion, but like lotion with like a no smell, like Eucerin. Like my daughter used Eucerin and, you know, Eucerin does not have a smell. And so, um, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how, what I want to say about it. Um. I mean, it's, it's really soft. It made my face feel really soft. Um, sorry if you guys hear my dog in the background. You know, he likes to be loud. But, uh, um, I, don't, I can't really tell if it's making me look white or not, but I guess it's okay. I mean, I guess. So, whatever. So now, um, my face is primed, I guess. I can keep saying I guess, but I don't know. I don't know how I truly feel about it, you know. That's like what happens when I use new things. I just blank out. I'm just like, I don't know. So I'm going to be using, anyway, my Black Radiance foundation. I really like this color. I really like this, their texture. It's not oily and it's not like matte to like, you look dry as hell. But it's like right there for me. It's really good. Um, I'm in the color 8. A4, A416 Mocha Honey. Mocha Honey. So I'm just going to apply this to my face. And I love, love, love spatula. Makes makes my whole life easier. Only if everything else made my whole life easier. I don't know if it's going to get my way. And if you guys are wondering if I still like this hair from my hair review, um, let me tell you guys, I have, I'm feeling like 50% about this hair and honestly, I don't know if I will order it again. Um, I'm noticing it dries up kind of fast, so I stopped putting heat in, heat in it and I just started braiding it out and, um. You know, braiding it out and then uh, just doing like braid outs. Like I see, it takes me so long to say say simple things. So basically, I'm just doing braid outs and stuff. I really did want for Christmas to curl it, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that. And it, I did dye it black, but it's still kind of looking kind of brown. So I don't, you guys, honestly, I don't think I'm gonna order this hair again. But you know, you always live and you learn. But yeah, I'm going to take my foundation brush and just blend out um, 
my foundation. I guess I like using foundation brushes a little bit more better than like starting off with the beauty blender. Cause I feel like with the beauty blender, it can give it like a good finish. And with the brush, it allows me to spread what I need to spread. That sounds terrible, spread what I need to spread. That sounded like, girl, what you trying to spread? No, but you guys, I'm not trying to spread that thing. Get that um, mustache, hide that. Hello, hello. Okay. And it does give me good coverage. I mean, I don't try to be like cakey, cakey. You know, I just kind of cover up. I cover up the ugly. That's all I try to do is cover up the ugly. Okay, so, um. I feel like it's blended well. No, it's not. Do you see that? It's not blended right there. So I'm gonna go on with my little concealer brush and like blend that part out. Okay, you guys, I've been waiting all my life to try this out. No, not really. I haven't been waiting all my life to try it out, but you guys, you know, I've been always concealer, I always contour, that's what I'm trying to say, with, um, powder first and that's the only thing I'm a contour is powder but I was like I really want to come across like a cream contour palette cream contour something and then I had tried in my other video the wet and wild contour and let me tell y'all it was a disaster it wasn't even the color I was looking for it was like like concealer but lighter I was just like bruh but I have got this elf contour palette and let me tell you we about to go crazy but before we go crazy I'm going to conceal my under eye and I do have a new beauty blender it's the equal tool beauty blender I haven't opened it yet because it's so pretty you know, you know it's all it's, it's like Christmas every time you get a new beauty blender and then you start using it and then it's like knockoffs or whatever but um, before I go on, I'm using this uh, Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Concealer for my under eye. And you guys, I love, love, love this concealer. I love the Fit Me Concealer. I love Maybelline. Let's put it like that. I love Maybelline. But I wanted to try a different concealer. So I'm just going to use that to go under my eye. We're going to erase those um, bags. And I like to call my bags Aubrey and Isaiah. And I'll be on there are my children that call it these bags. Cause I'm gonna tell y'all something. My kids are say nah. My kids are very I love them. They're lovable and adorable, but they believe the world evolves around them. And it doesn't. And they're only my son's three. About to be four, and my daughter is two, about to be three. And let me tell you, I say it's three going on 30, and Arby's two going on 20. I'll tell you that. So that's why my bags are called Arby and Isaiah, because you guys can imagine going through it with toddlers. And I think I'm gonna add a little pinch of the sand, a little bit, because I want a little highlight. Oh, sorry, the guys, that was itching. I'm gonna add a little highlight. I don't wanna go like, Psh. we're gonna take a dab, like. One, two, see, like a little bit. And go right here and go one, two. You know, not too crazy, but you want, when it's shining in the light, you want people to see. Mm, I'm not really gonna do my forehead because we don't need co concealer to show that I got a five head, you know. I know, I see a lot of people, they wanna show off their five head. Me, I wanna hide it as much as possible, okay? I do not want people to say, you know, Denise, we can see that five head. I know. I can see that five head, I know. And I'm not really a big fan with, um, because I am still getting into, like, the makeup and stuff, so I'm not really a big fan on doing all, like, contour and all highlighting and stuff all on my face, but the other eye, yes, yes, I love it. Um, my nose, 
no i don't know i'll put the highlight on it but i don't think i'll do like concealer i think you really don't need to do all that but you know you do what's best for you and i do what's best for me i'm just showing you all what i do for me and then you know if you like how i do it then you know but it's so crazy when you see how makeup has become into so much more. Like before when I was in middle school and high school, I thought it was only like eyeshadow. Yeah. I didn't even know you did. I didn't even know about eyebrows until like I was pregnant with my son and I was pregnant with my son in like 11th grade. So, you know, you guys figure that out. I'm 21, so I'm really young, but you know, Makeup is really changing every day. You guys see like the nose hair with the lashes? I won't be trying that. I don't know who came out with that, but Jesus. So anyway, but I'm gonna be on. So now that I have, before I go into my contour, I'm gonna um, bake a little bit. I'm not really into baking, but you know, hopefully it comes out right. And I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Fit Me loose powder in the color medium deep you guys this loose powder is really good and i'm gonna go in with a like a don't go in with a bigger brush i'm gonna use the little brush to pat it on and then i use the big brush to wipe it away so we go one, two. look at that i did one <laughs> and then went flying everywhere that's the one thing that's so annoying about loose powder it's like everywhere like you can't even wear like the outfit you want to wear with loose powder way so i'm just gonna pat this under my eye i'm gonna pat it we're gonna pat it into the skin we're not gonna like we're gonna bake it still but we're gonna pat it guys yeah, i'm so excited for the holidays on Christmas, I don't have nothing planned but work, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do like ugly sweaters with like my co-worker, you know. Cause I kinda work in like a group home kind of thing. So but for Christmas time and stuff, it is good to bake because it is cold. I don't know, well today it was like 60 degrees out, but and who knows it might be like 30 on christmas and hopefully we get some snow like we did the other two other um times not christmas but you know how we had that recent snow okay let me stop talking i'm just blah 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 okay now i'm gonna do my contour and i this is the first time you guys i ever used cream contour and i cannot get the palette open i was just open You guys help me. Let me see scissors. That's the only thing about Elf. Like they do come up with good formulas and some of the thing not every last thing is good, but some of the stuff is like um majority of stuff is like really good. Like, you know, it's like it can work, but their palette sometimes I'll be struggling. If any of you guys be struggling let me know but i'm gonna go in with these two darker shades i'm gonna start with the, the darkest like a little bit up here and then go in with the lighter shade you guys i'm kind of nervous i never use cream contour so i'm praying i'm praying that this comes out not like this was expensive this is like six dollars but still i was i've been looking for um something like this you know it's coming out. It's not coming out with this brush, you know. Not... I'm using the Wet and Wild brush, but it's coming. Do you see? Yeah, it's coming. Ooh, look like poop. Let me grow. Let me grow. Ooh, give me the cheekbones I don't have. Okay. Okay. Yes, I'm liking this. Uh, yes. 
Okay. Mmm. Let me tell you guys something. I just lost five pounds in the face. Okay. 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 Put some on my forehead. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit better with this contouring thing. You know, because before, I don't know. Sometimes I'll be like, what the hell am I doing? But, like you guys, I'm learning. You know, I'm not where I want to be yet with makeup, but I'm learning, as they say. And I'm going to put some on my nose. I'm going to use this flat brush again. And I do, guys, if you guys um, do come across with the e.l.f., uh, the makeup brush wipes for your brushes I'm telling you guys it's a good investment because it's better I mean still wash your brushes if if you don't wash them but um it helps like when you're doing your makeup so I'm gonna contour my nose down I'm gonna leave it this harsh yeah say not but I'm gonna contour my nose before like I was really, when I was really watching makeup tutorials and I saw how they contour their nose and stuff, I was like, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do that, but you know, to each his own. I kind of wanted to try it and bring the color down a little bit. Okay, we're gonna give myself a nose job, honey. Where was the contour at when people was making fun of my nose? Okay, because and. and I saw this trick from, I think it was Face Over Matter. She she did she put like a little bit of dark under her lips to make her lips look more full. And um, you already have big lips, but you know, let's make them bigger. Let's make them bougie big. I'm gonna just blend out my nose contour with my finger. So it's no harsh lines, so people will be like, girl, did you just draw your nose on? And but yeah, and touch your mom. Okay, and then I'm gonna blend out the Yes! Give myself a whole push that up. Push it down. Go all around, you know, the good stuff. Okay, y'all, so we've been baking long enough, so I'm just gonna take this bigger brush and wipe off the excess. Kind of looking alive now. I look like a person. Yes. Are y'all loving it? Or are you loving it? So now I'm gonna um set my contour with my contour palette. You can see it's been through hella life. <laughs> um I'm just gonna use this darker color and I'm gonna go back in with um, this one, this brush, and I'm going to, I'm gonna put this on my pants too, because um, I had my favorite contour brush, but I don't know where it is. It, you know, I'm kind of stressing out about that. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna go in and and of course, I would close the palette, the contour palette back up. But I'm just going to use my little compact mirror because I don't have time to be messing with that. I'm going to do circle, circular motions. And I do like a talk through a little bit more. I want you guys to get to know me a little bit like my personality. 
I'm crazy, but I'm still shy. Come on, hair. Get out of here. You guys, I'm really loving that contour. Like, give me life. That's when you start singing because you know you're tired. I'm going to tell you guys, huh? I'm getting there. Okay, so we're going to contour this side, too. We're going to set that contour, yes. Y'all see that cat eye? I'm about to sharpen it a little bit because it's starting to piss me off. <laughs> Yo, I'm so crazy. It's starting to piss me off. Like, what is? what are you going through, bro? What does it got to do with the face? Highlight. It's Christmas time. Like I said, you gonna go see those family members you can't stand. Those family members you want to stunt on. Honey, cause I got a few sips of tea. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this fluffy brush, and I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Mega Glow, and this is in the color Precious Pearls. And honey, it ain't lying. But we want to glow. You know, we want to glow. Oh, I'm all in the wet. And your cousin's going to be like, who is that? Where's your man? Say, honey, I don't need a man because I got my highlights. That's what you say. I don't need a man. Okay? Where's your man? Where's your man? Because if he was here and he saw my highlight. He wouldn't be where you say, y'all. I'm absolutely insane and tired. <laughs> I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Bring it up to your eyebrow, like right here to your eyebrow. Cause we want all the places to be highlighted. All the places. When they sit next to you, like, um, cousin Denise, can you pass me the collard greens? Be like, yes. I can where are they? Act like you can't see them for a little bit. We're gonna build that color up, okay? Cause this is holiday. You wanna be shining bright like them ornaments on your grandma's Christmas tree, okay? Like you one of them lights on the on the Christmas tree, okay? Highlights, honey, highlight. They wanna be like, girl, where are you going? Nowhere. I'm coming to eat them collard greens or whatever. Put some. I was going to use this brush to put on my nose. I use my little pink brush. Go down my nose and stuff. I'm going. We're going to highlight that nose job. That's what we're going to do. We're going to highlight that nose job. Let them know, honey. I'm coming in with a new nose. Let them know. Let them know. Okay, we're going to come in looking like Rudolph. The black reindeer, honey. Okay, I'm going to put some on. I put some right here, but I'll put a little bit more, you know. We're going to highlight them eyebrows. Let them know you use a new eyebrow pencil, honey. Let them know you upgraded, even though you probably didn't upgrade. But let them know. Like, highlight. Y'all, you know, highlight. We're going to highlight the cupid's bow. So when your ex sees you, you know, walk into your grandma, huh? You know, like, your lips wasn't popping like that when you was with me. And you're going to be like, because you wasn't popping. Mmm. All right. I'm going to take a smaller brush and do the corner of my eye, y'all. I'm going to tell you, we is highlighting today, okay? Your cousin's gonna be like, well, where's my gift? Uh, cousin Denise. <laughs> I am the gift. What you mean where's your gift? It's right here. It's right here. Popping. Popping. Say, listen, y'all, get me out of here. Cut me out. Okay, we're gonna put something on the corner of your eyes. Bring it out, y'all. Bring it out. <sighs> okay. To finish the completed look, I well, I still gotta do my lips, but I feel like I'm finished. It's just 
my under eye is looking kind of naked. So I'm gonna go in with a little, a little bit of that brown and a little, a tad of that black, cause that black, that black gets vicious. And I'm going to add it to my under eye. Just to smoke it out some. Yes, the whole look is coming through. What, babe? What's wrong? Y'all, if y'all don't like this, if y'all don't like this, like, is it gonna hurt my feelings? No, say not, it is. Because I feel like I really did a good job on this look and I'm really loving it, like, um, look at me not saying what I'm doing. I'm taking my wet and wild white um, eyeliner. I'm gonna put it under here, cause listen, listen, we is going to pop. I'm gonna be, I, I want y'all to walk in. To whatever family member house you go to, I want them to be like, sis. You don't be like, what? What? This ain't nothing. This is just a little look I put together or whatever. Just, just like that, y'all. Because that's how I'll be walking in. They be like, the knee. So I'll be like, yup. That's me. I'm just gonna put a little bit of white on it. Y'all, this is Christmas, okay? Like I said, you want to come in looking like the president. You ain't going to ask you where your president is. I'm like, I'm the president. What do you mean where the president is here? Like, me walking in. That's me. Hello. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. And a happy new year. Okay, y'all. I'm going to add the white. Especially if you have small eyes like me. You know, you just take it and bring, get you some white or some nude. I want to try nude liner too. I think it'd be the same thing like the white, but who knows? Um, just to bring it out, and I'm gonna use my Lights Camera Lashes Tart mascara for my bottom lashes. On my top, I just used the Makeup Forever Professional um, mascara, but this one, you know, we want to bring out them little lashes. You know, we want people to see that not only do we have falsies on y'all, but we got the bottoms popping through. Okay, okay. Yeah, my lips are kind of dry, but that's okay because we about to put some stuff on it. I'm gonna go and use my NYX 807 Cocoa Lip Liner. Just line those bells up, y'all. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to use my butter gloss. This is the color Ginger Sam, y'all. I love this color. I'm sorry, I don't mean to roll my eyes like that, but I love this color. And it's just like a, it's just a gloss. It doesn't really come through, but it does come through a little bit. You know, we do want to do glossy lip. Listen, we is popping all over. They're gonna be like Denise. Where is you, girl? Who do you think you are, Denise Antonio Johnson? The hell? Who my mama and my daddy raised me to be? Okay, y'all. Okay, guys. This is the final look. Do a little posing, you know. <laughs> 
but I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know sometimes my videos might not, well, 99.99% of time my videos not, might not look all good and stuff, but I'm still learning. And I just appreciate the subscribers that I have now, the people who view it. Please, 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 if you like what I do, please share. But furthermore, please like, comment, subscribe to my channel, do all that good stuff. And um, before I head out, I want to say congratulations to Jasmine Wallace for winning the November Ipsy bag. You guys make sure you guys stay tuned to those giveaways. And if you guys miss the November Ipsy bag, guess what I have? The December Ipsy bag. And you guys, this feels kind of big. It feels kind of big. And I'm gonna open this. I'm not gonna go into it and say what products it has. But we're gonna see together what the December bag is looking like because I said that um, the bags come differently every month and it's like you guys and it's bigger bags so it means bigger products but this is what the December bag is looking like there's so I think there's some more stuff in here oh some more goodies when they do face masks they don't necessarily always put in the bag but you guys, good stuff. It's good stuff. You can either try to go into this giveaway and do um, try to win a free Ipsy bag, or you guys can go online, sign up, um, do your test, and either do like pay the whole year off or do ten dollars a month. It's really not not that hard. I think it's worth it. I think it's better to do. Sorry, sample of makeup instead of trying to go out and just buying stuff because you know sometimes this won't work for you like it's working for her and me personally that has happened to me and I do not like it because makeup is not expensive I mean it's expensive and it's not always cheap even the cheapest makeup it adds up so please if you guys want to do the December Ipsy bag challenge just um, like this video, comment below. I want a free Ipsy bag. And I will be announcing the winner next Thursday. So just keep in lock. 